I've got my PCR test booked at 10 past one in Crumlin. It's actually, it's really good because at the moment um, you can get PCR tests, the, the, the test answers back within 24 hours. So I'm flying on Thursday and the rules are that it has to be within 48 hours of your flight. So yeah, the plan is to go and get the PCR test done. I've just done the lateral flow test because I'm panicking. That's done. Um, I'm flying to straight to, from Dublin to Abu Dhabi and the rules are there that you have to download the, I think it's called the ICA UAE app first and then once that, this isn't working, um, once you've uploaded all your details you have to have things like health insurance, um, if you've got the PCR test already you can but to be honest you're supposed to apply for it um, like five days before you travel because it can take up to two days for you to get an answer back and basically what they're doing is I keep saying basically, which is really annoying. But what they're doing is, um, once you get approved, it makes it easier for you to go through the airport and make sure that you've got all the documents that you need without having to be delayed. So I sent everything off on the app. Oh, I had a massive issue only because, so the app wasn't working. It wasn't letting me, any of the drop down menus, basically it didn't want to work. So, um, then I couldn't ask anyone because Instagram, WhatsApp and Facebook were down. So all the people that I would normally ask would be on those platforms. Couldn't ask any of them. Um, I eventually just went online and um, found a link. Got cut off there. I eventually went on, um, yeah, online, found a link, filled all my information in, sent everything off except for the PCR test and... It came back really quickly, actually, and it came back yesterday saying um, it's been approved by the government. So all I have to do now is get the PCR test, upload those documents, because it also means that I'll be verified to fly. So even in the airport, it's not going to take long. And then once I arrive, um, well, before I arrive, sorry, it's really complicated. Before I arrive, I've got to get the Al Hassan app, I think that's what it's called. Um and that one is basically what they're going to use to you don't have to quarantine when you get there anymore but they they use that to basically communicate with you once you've arrived in the uae so i'll be using that um i'll get that downloaded before i go and yeah so i fly thursday and i'm excited but i'm just nervous i'm like i'm not allowing myself to get excited until i'm on the plane because i had this issue before, obviously, with us being separated, like with me and Sean being separated for nine months, every time we booked flights, every time we thought we could get excited and things seemed clear, there was always something that went wrong. So a part of me has just been really anxious and just keeps kind of, I keep reminding myself that up until I've got all the documents and everything that I need, um, there's no point kind of getting too excited. I'm off to get my... PCR test, hopefully that doesn't take too long. So that's the PCR test done. Literally took like two minutes. I think I was in there probably less than 10 minutes altogether. But um, yeah, so I get the results back tomorrow. They're really quick now. And it actually wasn't where I thought it was gonna be. So I thought it was gonna be one of those like drive-through things in Crumlin, but it was, um, it's still in Crumlin, but it was at the Randox Health Centre. So it's basically just kind of like one in, one out. Um, really straightforward. So fingers crossed for tomorrow. And that is the last thing that's needed. I'm going for 35 days um, in between I'm gonna go to Oman and go out and get my passport stamped and come back um, 
but it's like the rules are changing or sometimes it can be a bit difficult. So they just applied for an extra 30 days for me there and then, that was fine. But then they decided to weigh all my like, like, luggage. So that was that, and then I had to pay extra. And I just got to the point where I was like, you know what, I'm so tired. Like I've lost my other glasses, I left them, but hopefully they're still at home. Um, and then I fell asleep. I nearly missed the stop on the coach. Like my mouth was even shrunk because I've been sweating that much. But um, yeah, I'm on the plane and you know what? I'm happy now and I don't care. So this is it. It's not the fanciest of planes, but it'll do. Can't wait. So I just asked to move. I hope you're going to be able to hear this because I've got my headphones in. Um, so I've ended up next to the window. So the plane itself is actually quite, quite empty and I am, oh I've got a lot of sleeping masks, a lot of packs and that has like sun, hand sanitizers, a face mask and just all these little, little bits and then being given a blanket and my headphones. So. I think we've been delayed a little bit. I don't know how long it's going to take for us to get there, but yeah, should be good.